Hello, hello, hello. This is Attorney Mike Raven coming to you from Chicago. As usual, I got a few fun clips for you this morning. I found a good new cranky judge in Gujarati. He does not want you wasting the court's time. <laughs> we got, we've got a Karen. Uh, the cheese may be off the cracker, but it's fun nonetheless. And uh, and we we finish it off with a bonus offset. Whoopi clowns himself in the usual offset manner. Let's do this thing, shall we? May I please your lordship? I beg to mention item number 30, lordship, 30, lordship. Kindly pass over the matter for the day, lordship. You are for what? Petitioner, lordship. Have you informed the other side? I will try, but I will try, but no one is here. Have Government help, advocate help is the there. Also, item 30. Miss Council, please follow the basic protocols of mentioning at least. If you do not get hold of the other side, then don't make a mention. You are unnecessarily wasting the judicial time of the court. Health is not here. Health is not here. Um, I will accommodate when the matter is called. All right. But be there when the matter is called. Don't disappear. Five to nine, this court cannot take it up. Do you want me to record your presence? On behalf of CCC. Why are you unnecessarily wasting the judicial time of this court? Yes. Next matter. They're muted there. There she goes. Ah, uh, here we go. I honestly don't know what's going on here. I think they're strapping her in, but I but it it only seems like the one leg. I don't know. All right, Ms. Zimmerman, can you hear me? State my full federal name, please. Can you hear me, Ms. Zimmerman? Yes, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Can you state your, your name and then my full federal name, please? Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, you're charging count one with burglary of a dwelling. That's a level. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I enjoyed that. Seven felony carries up to 34 months in prison. Uh, copy of the complaints being sent to you. Do you have a copy of that? Can you hear me? Yeah. Do you have a copy of the complaint? Judge, can you hear me? Your Honor, we have not given it to her yet. What's that? We have not given it to her yet. I haven't been in there to print it off. I haven't received anything. The only thing I received was something for a warrant or something like that. That's all I received. I, I would uh, like to put the statement. They're going to give it to you here in a second, but you're charged with burglary of a dwelling, uh, level seven felony, which carries up to 34 months in prison. Has a maximum penalty of the right to have an attorney represent you in this matter. If you can't afford to hire one, I'll appoint one. You know what you want to do with regard to an attorney? You haven't stated my full federal name for this to begin anyway, so can you please state? Oh, good Lord. I don't know what her full federal name is, but her YouTube name is Karen. State my full federal name, sir. All right. Uh, it sounds like you got a competency issue. Oh. Oh, no one said it yet. You're not going to fill out an application for court appointed attorney, then, are you, ma'am? I don't know who was appointed for me. I, have not re I haven't even received a phone call yet. I don't have a toothbrush, I don't have anything. You have to fill out an application if you want a court appointed attorney. They can provide you handle the application. So uh I don't, I don't have any idea what I'm doing when it comes to applying for a lawyer. Usually I would just call one. Your oh, Honor. You can call one, but go ahead. Deputy, what did you want to say? I got there. Oh, I, thought, I thought you were gonna say something. I did not. I did not refuse anything. All right, well, then hand her the application to the appointed attorney, I guess. Okay. I would like to hire an attorney, but I would like a phone call. I would like, like, you can hire one. That's here. That's your right. You can hire one of your own choosing. I'm completely sane. Okay. So I would just like to be treated like a human here. I don't know what is going on, why there's an empty courtroom there that you're showing me. 
actually, I have no idea. I'm not in a position to evaluate, but I, my, my suspicion is she is sane. She's just, she's just being nasty, but she could, she could be, uh, she could have mental health issues. I don't know. It's for someone else to determine. Well, that's where some people are appearing from. I was told that there was going to be a Zoom. Like, okay. Oh, okay. Evaluation. Um, interrupt me. You're not interrupt. You're not like listening to me. I am. I was told that there was going to be a Zoom, like like a case or whatever, a Zoom meeting number that my family could log into. Judge, I was told there would be a Zoom. Well, there is a Zoom right here. It says Zoom, bottom right. You're Zooming, honey. It's the, the, the Zoom is on. You're on Law Talk with Mike. You're on Zoom. You got it all happening. I, I did not receive that. I'll set this over. Mr. Marcinski, can you do the uh, competency order? That was my first yes, hand. Hand. Yeah. Because of the competency issue, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Competency issue, sir. Uh, I I graduated with a bachelor's degree in nursing. I'm pretty sure that I don't have any competency issues. I'll appoint. Um, Your Honor, would you like us to be educated? And now you're going to mute me. What did you say, Deputy? I'd like us to mute our mic so you can finish. Oh, I can mute it. Okay. Okay. Um, anxiety leads to constipation. All right, I, uh, what I've done here is uh, I'm going to go ahead and appoint Chris Randall pending the competency evaluation. As I said earlier, I'm ordering the competency evaluation, um, and I'll set this over to September 26th at 10.30 a.m. Can you know what a competency evaluation is or why that's necessary? Uh, Mr. Marcinski, would do the journal entry for me on the competency evaluation? Yes, Your Honor. All right, this hearing is concluded. Can you just say verbally explain it to me instead of it being printed out? Because I've had my paperwork mess within my in myself. Which is number one. Wrong. This is Ariana Powell, 23 CR 135. Yes, sir. All right. Uh, do you have that application filled out? I do. Okay. We'll get that. I mean, I'll look it over. Holy wow. <laughs> That's right. Good morning, sir. May I have your name and date of birth? Good morning. Yes, sir. Uh, the name is Kaylin Joyner. I do apologize if I mispronounced your name. That was not my intention. We're here today on two different cases. The first is a Superior Court new case. You were arrested on allegations of resisting arrest, a class six felony. I will find probable cause and I will appoint you an attorney. I'm setting a status conference on September 30th at 8.30 and a preliminary hearing on October 3rd at 8.30, both in the downtown Superior Court. I am going to issue a secured bond on this case in the amount of $2,500. We're also here today on a probation violation for violating term 21. I will appoint you an attorney, set a probation revocation arraignment hearing on October 1st at 8.30. That will also be in the downtown Superior Court. And likewise, I'll set a secured bond in the amount of $2,500. So you have a total bond of $5,000. If you do post bond, I'm ordering that you not have contact with the arresting officers, no possessing any weapons, drugs, or, or alcohol. And you must contact your probation officer within 72 hours of release. You can contact your probation officer directly or the general line for probation will be on your paperwork. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I denounced my uh, my citizenship. Uh, I told him that I was sovereign and so. Well, to be fair, that that's not a way to get out of your probation violation, but I do appreciate what you're saying. I would suggest talking with your attorney about what that means moving forward. Go ahead and grab your paperwork to your left and take a seat.
Jonathan Shepard to the podium. Why are you unnecessarily wasting the judicial time of this court? 